everyone. This is Trinity with From We Can To We Can, and this is our At Home series. Today, we have our guest inter interviewer, Alexis, and we have our special guest, Whitney Bailey. Whitney Bailey, how about you go ahead and explain who you are, where you're from, and your diagnosis? Uh, well, my name is Whitney Bailey, like Trinity said, and I was born with spastic cerebral palsy. I'm from Thorndale, Texas, but oh, nice. I go back. I go back and forth from Thorndale and uh, West Texas because my fiance lives here, so we we go back and forth. Uh, so, nice. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead, Alexis. Um, explain the surgery you received that helped you out. So, I'm gonna give a little backstory. I from birth from birth to age 18. I had to rely on a caregiver to do everything for me. And then I got on back up in and it started, I started, no, I started noticing, noticing some, uh, well, I'm not sure if you're familiar with cerebral palsy, but cerebral palsy is where my muscles are very spastic. So they're very tight and I'm constantly fighting my body to do things like just simple tasks. Um, so back up in is like a muscle relaxer and it makes me loose and it uh, just makes me more comfortable and it gives me the opportunity to gain muscle. And I started on medication uh, when I was as when I was like a junior in high school. And then the medication worked. So they uh, they offered for me to get a, a pump with the medicine. It's it's the pump is in my stomach and it's connected through a catheter to my spine so with that surgery i with a lot of hard work and um perseverance i went from having to rely on a caregiver to living on my own um walking across the stage with my high school graduation going to college getting a bachelor's degree and then i went and got a master's degree. So I basically uh, turned off, like, I did like a, like a 180. <laughs> so it the, turned me off upside down. That's awesome. Congratulations. And we applaud you for everything that you've done and overcome. You are truly an inspiration. Um, Alexis, do you have another question? Um, what advice would you give to those who would like to do what you've done? I would say, I would say that uh, first and foremost is that you need to do your research and don't, don't just, don't just jump into anything blindly. Like make sure that you, you, that you, uh, you know what you're getting into. Like for like the, for like the surgery or, or anything really, there's, there's so many support groups out there with like social media now that uh, join a support group, get, get other people's opinions. Um, yeah, my biggest advice would be to not jump into anything. Um, just like, just because you just because you want it, there you have to outweigh the pros and cons. And what what works for one person might not work for another. That's great so, advice. That's really great advice. Thank you so much. Um, my other question for you would be, so you graduated with your bachelor's degree, like you said, and you attended a four-year college all on your own. What was that experience like? Um, it was, it was just surreal, to be honest, because I have, I have three, I have a twin, and then I have two, I have a brother and an older sister. So wow. no one, no one thought that I would be the Bailey kid that would go off to college on their own. And uh, to be honest, college is a time where you find yourself. So in high school, I was, I was very shy and quiet and like, like I, I was, I was kind of a loner. <laughs> and uh -huh. like college is, college is a, college is a time where I found my voice and like, I'm very, I'm very outspoken now. Like, um, um, and like, it's just a time where you, Come into yourself. So it was That's, a very 
I don't know if that answered your question, but no, that's you know. great. That's great. That's awesome. You're so, truly an inspiration, and there's so many people that really want to achieve and do everything that you do. You are a role model for so many people. So before your surgery, what? How did you find independence? I, my my mental health at that time was not the, was not the best. So I had to surround myself <clears throat> with people that like just encouraged me to like do things on my own. Like my parents never, never, they never treated me any different than my siblings. So I put a lot of credit onto that because they kind of taught me to be independent when I, when I not, when I, when not necessarily I could be physically independent. I, I you still have your mind, you still have your mind, you can still, you, uh, there's still ways that you can be independent without being physically independent, if that makes sense. No, that's great advice. That's really great advice. And I'm sure many people who will be watching this will definitely take that in and try to apply that to their life. So thank you for the great advice. So speaking of you being really getting out there now that you found yourself and things like that, um, why don't you go ahead and explain how you started your podcast and what is the main focus of your podcast? Um, so, I, I, I work professionally with an organization called Able Threat, and its primary focus is people with spinal cord injuries. So, which is kind of, which is kind of ironic because I don't have a spinal cord injury. So, I was seeing all these, I was seeing all these people in the spinal cord injury doing, doing podcasts and stuff like that, and I was like, there's really nothing out there like that for this real the community. And with this quarantine, I got bored. So, I was, and like, like Zoom, Zoom became popular. So I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. And it kind of, it kind of really took off. Like, I have content scheduled up to, uh, scheduled up to July, right wow. now. And I wouldn't, I would never have thought that, that would happen. But that's what I, I was saying. I was saying. That, Quarantine's kind of been like a blessing because I've gotten all this done. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. That's really awesome. So what would you be your, be your advice since you've accomplished that um, podcast? What would you be your advice for people who are in quarantine and looking for things to do? Um, just to find something that you're passionate about. And even if, you, even if you're scared, just take that leap. Uh, so like actually do it like make a make a plan and start with small goals and that small goal will turn into a will turn into a big goals and eventually you'll accomplish everything that's great advice that's that's great advice that's something that we all need to hear because we're all really struggling during this quarantine finding new things and new avenues and and you know just different things to do so it's awesome that you were able to branch out and accomplish something that you just really went for um it's truly amazing alexis did you have any other questions for her i know we didn't plan any more but if you wanted to ask her any questions feel free um i'm i applaud you because that's just great and congratulations so the other thing that we would like to, because you're such an inspiration and we really applaud you for everything that we do and we really want to honor those that are in the disability community and just sharing their story and doing everything that we can. You know, you left on our site that you and your fiance, you guys like to go and go out to eat and watch movies. So we will be gifting you a Visa gift card um, just to say our thanks and just to applaud you for everything that you've overcome because we are really thankful for who you are and for being such an inspiration. Well, thank you. No problem at all. Is there anything else that you would like to share before we close out? You can follow me at Wilshire Wit on all of these social media platforms. Perfect, Please. perfect. All right, you guys heard it. This was our at home series with Whitney Bailey. She's truly an inspiration, and we thank you for everything you've d done. We thank Alexis for being here with us. Um, you are just as amazing as everyone else. Thank you guys for tuning in to our at-home series. We will see you guys next time.